The Tale on the Tape brought to you by Beat Chain, the official Layer 1 blockchain of UFC. Charles Oliveira is 33. Islam Akashev will be 31 in five days. Both fighters 5 foot 10 inches tall, both weighing in half a pound below the championship limit. Reach advantage of three and a half inches with the Brazilian Charles Oliveira. All right, now for the introductions back inside to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening, sanctioned by the UAE MMA Federation. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon Sidearm, Ben Cartledge, David Lethemy, and Clemens Warner. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Jason Herzog. This championship bout is brought to you by Etihad Airways, the national airline of the United Arab Emirates, awarded the best airline staff service in the Middle East. Book your flight to over 64 destinations worldwide on Etihad.com. And Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Digital pre-order and play campaign now. And now! For those in attendance and UFC fans watching around the world, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Etihad Arena in Yez Island, Abu Dhabi. A combat samba fighter, holding a professional record, 22 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 154 and one half pounds. Flying out of Makhachkala, Russia, presenting the combat samba world and European champion and the number four ranked lightweight contender in the world, Islam. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record, 33 wins, 8 losses, 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 154 and 1 half pounds, fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the former UFC lightweight champion, Charles Dobrov Oliveira! Okay, fighters have gone over the rules in the back. There were no final questions from you, Blue. There were no final questions from you, Red. If you want to touch gloves, come out now. Ready to fight. Mixed martial arts at its finest. Two of the best in a division ubiquitously regarded as the best in the sport. Islam Akashev, the minus 195 betting favorite to become a first-time UFC champion against the credentialed Charles Dubronx Oliveira, who is plus 165. Oliveira in yellow, Makashev in red. Tonight's fight clock is brought to you by Timex. Shop the full collection on Timex.com. Use code UFC280 for 20% off today and tomorrow. Expect Oliveira to go forward. Islam with a big left hand early. It looked like he hurt him. Nothing we haven't seen before, though. Uh, you know Charles will get stunned, but keep fighting. The pressure of Oliveira. Oliveira takes him to the ground here. Now, Michael Shep said he would take him down here. Not many people are willing to play this game with Charles Oliveira. Islam said he is not afraid. But Dubronx, as expected, starts to throw up submissions right away. Oliveira's already been cut open for what it's worth.
Islam really trying to make sure he gets either both arms in or out here. Nice job. Nice elbow from Oliveira off his pack. Oliveira's ground game is so good, he immediately puts you on a defensive. Makashev working inside that tight closed guard of Oliveira. And it's not just the submissions, Paul, when we talk about that active guard of Charles Oliveira. He will elbow you down there. He will elbow you. He will just keep swiveling those hips. He will threaten submissions and try to do damage from the bottom. But Islam already avoided that first triangle attempt, landed a big left hand to start things off. Makashev, this is where he wants to be. Charles invited him down. Yeah, he did. Oliveira put himself in a position that Mahanshev said he wanted to be. But as you see there, Oliveira with the active guard. Mahasha passes the half guard. Charles is going deep half sweep here. Trying to get up. Nice job there from Oliveira. Look for the knees of Oliveira in the clinch. Very dangerous. Great job there by Dubronx. <laughs> Getting back shot. on his feet, using that leg lock attempt to get himself back up. Now he's got Mahasha pressed against the side of the octagon. Right in the corner of Mahasha. Herzog using his Brazilian Portuguese to tell Charles Oliveira that it's hand off the top of the octagon and now taken down. Nice step through there by Montechev. That wizard kick we talked about earlier. And we said how important that would be, right, DC? So he yeah. doesn't have to shoot low. He doesn't have to put his neck into a vulnerable place against Oliveira. But the speed at which that happened. Earlier we saw a couple labored wizard kicks. You got to attack that if you're going to try it. Now let's see what Oliveira does, his approach, as he's on his back again. Under two minutes here to go, round one. Khabib shouting instructions right there to his brother, Mahasha. And you see Islam move Charles towards the corner where he can take the instructions. If Charles Oliveira stays here, it's because he wants to be here. He has so many skills off of his back to try to change the position. Islam stacking him. Got to make sure the hips are covered. You cannot allow someone as good as Dubronx to get his hips off to his side. You got to keep him square. And pushing him up against the cage is a smart approach. Because there, he, he can't move as much. He's got his head pressed in there. He can feel every motion coming from those hips. He knows what's happening. He knows if he's trying to swivel for an arm bar or submission attempt at all. And this doesn't deter Charles Oliveira. If you remember, Kevin Lee had a lot of success in round one on the ground against Dubronx. So he will make the same attacks as the fight goes on. Strong example right there coming down the stretch of round one. Jason Herzog, you can assure, will give them plenty of time to work here in these situations. Yeah, these these guys wanted to be down here. Charles invited him down, and Islam gracefully came down with him. Oh, big and shots. That's something you don't want. You don't want to just continuously be stuck under Islam Mahashev. He's too good here. His base is so strong. Makashev keeping that elbow on the chin of Oliveira. Now tries to posture up. Charles oh. swivels a hip. Look to land an up kick. He's down. Stop. Round one done. Hey, over here. Okay. All right, look, this is that big left hand. Nice straight left. Right off the bat. Look at this. We talk a whole lot about Charles Oliveira's striking, and Islam comes out with a nice strike. There he gets a nice takedown, ends up right in half guard, right on top, and pressing Oliveira up against the fence, right in his own corner. Front kick to the face, okay? You, you got him in the end. He's faulted, okay? What he wants is that game. When he's on top of you, don't get, don't get him come to you, okay? You're hurting him. Don't get him get close to you. <clears throat> Listen, you need to come up after him. Don't press him. Pre pressure point. Listen, you need to be more active. Do not let him be active. Okay, get, and, 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 watch out on the ground. Okay, watch out. 
All right, back to the live action, round two of a possible five. Charles Oliveira's corner looking for more output here at the outset of round two. Kind of feels like Khabib wants this one even more than his own championship wins. Investment doesn't even begin to describe it when it comes to Makashev's career and his involvement. Oh. Another nice stick there by Makashev early round two. Oliveira right back on the pressure. Oliveira's corner said they wanted him to go. Front kick to the face. Don't allow Makashev to get close. Charles trying to get his own takedown. Look for Islam to try to inside trip to take Oliveira down. As he's in close, he will take that left leg inside to try to sweep him to his back. You know, this is something that is a little bit overlooked with Oliveira. When you're in tight, he's just jamming these into your body. It may not look like it's doing much damage, but it really wears on his opponents as the fights go on. No. But Mahashev has double underhooks here. And he's got to try to manipulate Oliveira to take him down. Charles Oliveira, you cannot take down with singles because he's so dangerous at jumping on your neck. You got to try to trip him to knock him down. We're about six and a half minutes in, and DC, despite the obvious skill sets in Oliveira's history, you kind of expected a longer fight tonight. And a harder fight for both guys because of the matchup. Good knee to the body there a moment ago from Charles Oliveira. Now back to the center of the octagon under three and a half in the round. And as the fight goes longer, Oliveira will gain confidence. But Makashev is a good striker. I know he's not known for it, but he has tremendous stand-up skills. Islam doing just fine on his feet, though, so far in this fight. Yeah, but the longer he does that, the more Charles Oliveira feels good. Defending takedowns. And in that action there against the side of the octagon, you saw that Dubronx recognize this. Maybe this is not a fight that I want to be taking guard. Right? He's defended and stayed upright, opposed to going to his back. Pretty good combination by Nakasha there, partially blocked by Oliveira. Head kick for Nakasha. Yeah, again, the guard raised for Oliveira, but still a rattle. You can see Oliveira just slightly hesitant yeah. now, knowing that Makhachev is always going to try to close that distance if we stand too long and he doesn't like what he's seeing. Charles is just not as reckless as he normally is when he's chasing guys down. Yeah. I think he's just aware of the takedowns coming in his direction. I think Oliveira would do Ooh. Oh! Knockdown from Makhachev! Right into the oh, left guard. Triangle. He's got to watch the arm triangle here. If Mahachev can pass the guard, he's got the arm triangle. Oh, this is oh, better oh. was able to hurt Oliveira so many times on the feet. We talked all about his wrestling, the sambo, the jujitsu, but it was the strikes that led to all of this. He was able to knock 
Oliveira down, and then once he had him hurt and had him just questioning himself for a second, he locks up this arm triangle. And like DC talked about, as soon as he even clears the leg, look, Oliveira's already tapping. That's the squeeze and the pressure that Islam Mahashev has. And <laughs> you know what's funny to us? You could see Habib could barely contain the smile, even for the walkout for Islam. Amazing moment. And of course, the late Abdulmanap Nurmagomedov, not at all far from the minds of that team and fight fans around the world. He said famously before he passed, when Habib leaves, Islam will arrive. The arrival is here in earnest. Islam Akashev now the hunted at 155 pounds. Charles Oliveira, ever classy in defeat. You know he will be back and perhaps in a championship setting soon, but tonight belongs to the man from the small Bershi village in Makhashkala, Russia, Islam Makhashev. Pretty incredible, he started one and one in the UFC back in 2015 and again had a lot of expectations even then and then was able to methodically reel off 10 in a row to set up this title fight and he did not miss when the stakes were raised. One final time tonight the veteran voice, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jason Herzog has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 16 seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner by submission due to a head and arm choke. And new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Islam.